Is it recording? Yes. All right, what's up guys? Justin here. Today we're going to do an unboxing of the electric board that I got from Kijiji. Um, I got this for $240. I'm not sure what to expect, so we'll see how it goes. All right, so let's see. Now, just as a disclaimer, I had to test out the board because I wasn't sure how it would be. So, I have written it and I've done a few things to it already. So, this is the board. It is equivalent to, I guess, the bench wheel board. The person that I got it from didn't even know what brand it was, so I'm assuming because of the way that it's designed, with that huge ass battery right in the middle. Um, yeah, I'm assuming that it's a clone of the bench wheel, so that's what I am guessing. Um, this is what comes with it. So this is the board itself. Uh, what else is it? This is the grip tape. Here are the instructions. Um, ooh, land glider. So that is the name of the brand, I guess. Which is kind of like... Bench wheel. Um, so that, that comes with the charger. Again, this is already open, so everything's kind of just mixed up. And the char... Not, not charger, sorry. And the remote. Oh, and the skate tool is right there, including the uh, cable to charge it up there as well and I think that's it oh what the heck there's another cable in here I guess it's for the, the charger there cool other than that that's it so let me just take this off and put the board on the table got my girlfriend to help me out thank you There. I don't think I got an extra cable. That was, was the one that came with it. So, so this is the board itself. Um, I forgot what this so the battery. It is a big ass type of battery. It is. One second. Let me look at this. I cannot screw it. Let's look at the instructions. I'm pretty sure it'll be there. Here are the instructions. Yeah, I think this is German. I don't know if you can check. It, look at Ashtong, I think is German. I have no clue. But on the other side, it is English. So that is what I'm assuming. So that's that. And this is the user manual for the Land Glider, aka Bench Wheel. So the first few pages, you have the general stuff, any issues with it, some FAQs, and so the specs. Here you go. So the specs you have, I think, oh, so there's two types of models. There's the M5T, which is the one that I got, because I think this one has dual motors here. And then the M3T is the single motor drive here. Um, so just to go over them. So right now it weighs at around 7.5 kilos, which um, goes to about 15 pounds. A bit on the heavy side, but I mean, Pretty, okay, no, it's f***ing heavy. <laughs> I didn't expect it to be that heavy. But when you're riding it, it's fine. Um, the length of the board is around 35.5 inches. Yeah, inches. Um, and the width is... Oh God, I see. <coughs> Sorry about that. Anyways, the width of the board is, I believe, 8 inches, could be. And the material is 3 layers of bamboo and 2 layers of fiberglass. So, this thing is actually pretty durable, I guess. I expect that too, either. And the battery is an 8.8 amp, 8.8, eh, 8.8 ampere battery, so that's 8,800 milliamps, um, which is a pretty big battery for what it is. Um, the one that I had, the Alouette electric skateboard, had 4.4, which is half the size of this, um, but it looks humongous. 
since it takes up the whole entire length of the board. Um, looking at my own type of battery. Charge time for the board itself is three hours, which is still pretty long considering how big it is. And you know what? Anyways, if you hear cat meows, that's that's him. Um, in terms of the motor, so it's a dual type motor, and uh, each motor pumps out around 900 watts. So in total, you have around 1800 watts of power, which is pretty strong. This is the first type of uh, belt-driven board that I have. The first one was a single hub motor. In terms of the wireless remote here, it has 800 milliamp type of battery, which is pretty small. Charge time, they say it's around 120 minutes. Wait, that's two hours. Is that two hours? Yeah. yeah. That's, it takes two hours to charge this thing up. What, what the f***? Okay, anyways. The max speed that this thing can go says 28 kilometers per hour, which is f***ing fast, considering that the one that I have goes... 18, I want to say, 18 kilometers per hour, so that's pretty much like doubled it, kind of, not really, but, you know, for the distance of the battery, it says 30 kilometers. I don't think that's true, but we're gonna test that out in the summer, because right now it's f***ing winter and it's cold as hell, I'm not gonna go right in the winter. So, the only thing we could do right now is test it in a garage of some sort. Mm. The wheels are okay, they don't spin that great, but eh, what can you do, it's fine. And the motors, pretty good, they seem to be okay. Now, the one issue that, I see, that I've seen with these type of boards is once you start it up, um, they start in reverse for some reason. I think that's how they set it up, and apparently there's a quick way to do it. You have to, to change the order of the cables. I don't know if you can see it there. God, you can focus. Focus! There you go. So the red cable there needs to be where the yellow cable is, and vice versa. And that is how you fix the direction once you first start it up. Let's start up the board. And right, nope. That is the charge port. Um, I think it's the other side. Yep, it's right here, that big red button here. Press that. Should light up. There we go. Turn this on. Now the controller. The controller is a bit of an issue. Can you hear it? Um, so with the remote, it kind of sucks because there's only one type of button here throughout the whole controller that does everything. So you have, let's see, the reverse, which is this button that button there. You have the speed mode, which is right there. You have, what else do you have? So you have the speed and you have the direction where it starts. All in that one button. And I think you have to do it once you actually start the remote. If you don't get it the first time, you gotta start it again. So right now with the red one, with the red light on, it is the pro mode and the green light is the uh, beginner mode. Um, so you have that option, but then again, like I mentioned, it only goes in reverse initially. So I'm just gonna flip it around right now. Let's see which direction it goes. Now because I already pressed the button, it is going the regular, or the right way, so forward instead of reverse. Um, yeah, so right now it that is on pro mode. This is how it sounds like when you're going pretty fast. Yeah, that's pretty f***ing crazy. Anyways, uh, so that is pro mode. See, once, I think it's like, once you set it, that's kind of it for now. Like, I can't even change it to, to beginner mode. I think I'm like changing the direction right now. Um, so to do that, you have to turn it off, and then turn it back on, and it's in pro mode, then you have to press it, and now it's in beginner mode. 
So that might be an issue. Once I change the wiring to the different order that it's in, I think that should be fine. So um, in terms of the board itself when you're riding it, let's see. Um, yeah, it's not that bad. I think the person that had it before had it on loose and I'm okay with this kind of setup. That way I could turn better and stuff, but yeah, no, seems to be fine. Let's see, what else can we go over? We went over the specs, um, the bell driven stuff. The only thing that we can do now is test it out. So we're gonna go to the garage, test it there. So awkward transition. So here is the garage. Um, we're gonna test it out here. Test the board, just literally go down all the way down there, and then and come all the way here. So we will see how this goes. The board is now started. Let me see which way it goes. Oh, it's going the right way. Okay. Oh my god. I feel like I'm gonna die. Alrighty, guys. It's so loud. And the brakes are strong as hell. Um, okay. I'm gonna go, guys. So noisy, holy sh This thing is really noisy. Ugh. God, it's heavy. Ugh. Okay, let's try this again. Yeah, there's a huge delay. Oh my god, it's fast. So, I can tell you right now, there is a huge delay with how this is. When the acceleration goes, it's probably, um, takes a second, or second, second and a half to get it done. Um, the braking is strong, not something that I'm used to. Um, yeah, this is gonna be a bit scary as hell. I haven't even done a distance and a battery or distance and a speed check, so we'll do that once everything clears up. So I gotta wait till like spring for that. Um, here, I'll have my girlfriend just kind of videotape me while I go around the parking lot. Gone. Where'd he go? I hear him. So I can hear him from so far. So, okay, so the acceleration on this is freaking nuts. Like, I didn't expect it to be that fast. Um, I'm trying to think what else. The braking is super strong. Like really strong. Um, you gotta brace yourself. You gotta like kind of lean back a bit just to kind of brace it. Um, with the acceleration, it takes quite some time. I don't know. I'm, I'll do. We'll do a little quick, do a quick thingy. So full throttle. One, two, like two and a half, three seconds to kind of accelerate, which takes quite some time. You are on a slight, slight slant. Like a two percent slant. No, but even then, like the response should be like. If I'm on full throttle right now, it, can, it should go now. But that took almost three, like two and a half to three seconds. So that kind of worries me, especially when I need to do an emergency type of braking. Um, I mean, it could, it could somewhat it. But it sounds so heavy. It sounds so heavy. It is heavy. Um, 
the only issue is I still don't get what the rattling noise is with this board. Uh, I'm gonna ride again. Let's see how this goes. Wait, let me go in the middle. <laughs> Somebody who's walking down the street as a pedestrian, that's quite annoying. Hearing the rattling or hearing the uh, Both. Well, the belt should be fine. The belt and the rattling is both the quite annoying. The, ra the, the belt is fine. Like, I'm okay with it. Rattling that That's only if you're on like rough terrain. But, I mean, other than that, it's a decent type of board. It's fast, it's strong as but other than that, that's, I'd say it's a good $240 that I spent. Um, I'm gonna go. How to, much is in market price? Oh, the, the like the actual brand one, because this one's like a, a clone, I'm assuming, because it's not a bench wheel. Um, but these typically go for like 900, thousand bucks. Canadian, mm -hmm. mind you. But like in the U.S., it's uh, give or take 600. So you kind of pay for what you got. So now we're in the car. Um, I'm just gonna end it off here. Would I recommend the sport? If you can find the exact same sort of board that I found on Kijiji or Craigslist, if for the people that are watching in the U.S. Um, if you can find the exact same brand for just as cheap, I would probably grab it. In terms of that price pricing, you cannot beat that kind of price because that's crazy cheap. I would probably recommend you buy it. The issues that I have are the delay in response to the um, remote. Whenever you try and accelerate it takes two seconds to kind of get ready and just go which kind of concerns me because if I need to brake but the, the uh, braking wasn't that bad it's strong you just need to if you know you're going to brake prepare your body um, but yeah the remote itself is scary if I could change the remote for a better one with a better receiver I'm assuming um, that would be much more helpful um, oh, I would change the board, the board as well, just cause I hate the handle. It looks so ugly. That's my preference. I mean, it's probably more convenient for anybody else that's trying to carry it around. But to me, it doesn't have a kicktail as well. So that kind of annoys me cause I'm used to having a skateboard or a board that has a tail and I'm able to pivot. So, and that actually helps quite a bit. So kicktail, and a better remote or a receiver for the board. And I think that would be my ideal board for long distances. Um, and yeah, I think that's about it. If you guys like the video, please like and subscribe. And if you have any other suggestions as to what kind of board I should get next or review, comment down below and I will see you soon. Peace guys. <laughs> oh my God.